Target Field, downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. The site for game three of this series. They have split the first two, and the Indians will turn to Carlos Carrasco. They've got to face Kenta Maeda, the former Dodger right-hander, and hopefully they can find some early offense because that has been the key to their success so far, scoring first. When they score first, they are 5-0. and When they don't, they're 0-3. Kenta Maeda making his first target field appearance. It's off to a... 1-0 start after a very well-pitched game down in Chicago last week. Hernandez got a couple of hits last night on the ground. Gathered in by Arai. One pitch, one out. Here's Jose Ramirez. And there it was. And now to Polanco. Two down. A couple of quick ground ball outs. That'll bring up Lindor with the bases empty. In off the plate, ball four. Two out walk keeps the inning alive for Carlos Santana. Swing it a fly ball, center field, deep but playable Buxton. On the grass and right center, he'll call. He will catch above his Red Twins cap, and that's out number three. Second start of the campaign for Carlos Carrasco as we go to the bottom of the first in a scoreless game. The right-hander facing Max Kepler, the right fielder. Now the payoff. Swing and a miss. Wicked changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. And Carrasco strikes out Kepler for out number one. Two down for Nelly Cruz, the DH, and he's batting 370 with four career homers against Carrasco. Rolls over and Lindor to his left, about a step or two to throw him out. The Twins go one, two, three. Leon batting 200, the pitch to him. And here it comes, and that's strike three call. Knee high at 92. Leon thought it was maybe a tad low, and now the rookie Daniel Johnson. And the one-two pitch, he got him. Strike three, no fastballs to end. That at bat, off speed, off speed, off speed. And Johnson's out number two. And now Hernandez. Two-two, strike three, called a fastball, 93. Maeda strikes out the side. Miguel one for 17 to start the year with eight strikeouts. Driven to the gap in left center field. That ball is a bullet and gone. Into the bullpen. And the Twins. Take the first lead. There are not too many hitters anywhere in the world that can hit a ball at that height above the ground and have it carry out uh, up 400 feet away. That ball, as Dick said, this is scald, absolutely tattoos. That powerful sway, that's, I mean, that's his. Count of 0-2 to Santana. And a swing and a miss struck him out on something down and away. Here's strikeout number four for Maeda. Zario hits this ball well to left field. Left fielder tracking Johnson. He'll look up and go. And Eddie Rosario home run into the flower beds in left field. Twins lead two to nothing. Now Danny, as we said, for his first at bat, he has more games, more hits, more home runs, more RBIs off Cleveland pitching than any other one team adding to that that's his 21st career home run and his 100th career hit off Cleveland pitching there's Luis Arise bounced to second his first time up Arise shoots and these young left. guys came, came up and Zimmer with a nice catch going to the backhand slide and the inning is over no well there's two hits on the year they've both been extra base hits Drill to the left field corner. It's deep and gone. He's got another one. And that left the ballpark as quickly as the first one. You know, when he hits him, Roy, I'm glad I don't have a home run call because I, I don't think I'd be able to fit the words in. You wouldn't be able to get them all in. by If you want to get it in by the time he hits the seats, he wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, so I said the first one was tattooed. I guess scalded. I'm going to run out of adjectives as well. This is a beautiful swing on a breaking ball that hung right in kind of inside middle. There's Trevor May coming in to pitch in the seventh. Polanco backhands it, fires across, and Sano with the tag. A good play by Miguel Sano. And a great throw by Polanco from the hole. I think I mentioned last night that Jorge Blanco has as good an arm from the funny posi body positions as anybody. Look at this throw across the body in the air to Sano. Look how quickly he gets rid of the ball across his body all the way over in the air so Sano can throw the tag on. 
Trevor May saying, man, that, that could have been two guys on there. That's a heck of a play. So Rodgers protected a three-run lead last night, and that's what he's asked to do tonight. Face Lindor, Santana, and Arreyes. Well, we've seen him twice. Speared at third by Adrianza. He's played a lot of third base, stays with that, just goes down to the knees to make sure that he can get down to the ball and keep it above the ground. One and two to Santana. Two down. Front meal Reyes. Another 2 2. Got him. Rogers gets the job done again. The Twins pitching has held the Indians to three runs scored in the first three games of this series. 